Right, welcome to this Tactica Warhammer 40,000 Tactica for Warp Spiders. Rapidly becoming one of my favourite units in my old army. I really enjoyed using them. I've included them in the last few games, and they have really excelled themselves. If you keep them in low numbers, then the point swarm is pretty cheap. They're a handy deep striking unit. Their armor save is pretty good, three plus, which is handy, and their weapon's pretty cool. Two shots of strength six. And then if you upgrade this guy. Give him the power blade so he's got power weapons and then give him two of those, that's four shots and you're using that ballistic skill five. Then you've got a pretty good unit and it's the deep striking aspect that I like about them. The good aspect about them is that they're able to deep strike and that's how I've uh, used them in the game as an ambush unit. Now it's not going to be, not going to pull it off every time. With deep strike, you know, it's not as reliable but when you can pull it off and you can uh, hit a vehicle inside a rear armour with a large amount of strength, six, six shots, then it's well worth doing. And then what can the enemy do about it? Not much. That's good. And if you combine it, don't put them out on their own, if you combine it with an attack from other units, then it gives the enemy loads to worry about. And it can be an effective tactic. So it's obvious you're going to try and land about here, about six inches away, just in case you do scattering it you still won't uh, cause a mishap and if, if you go far away then you still might get within 12 inches so you aim about there roll your scatter so I've scattered three inches and I've, I'm still close enough to compensate for that so there you go then you position your figures around I'll keep the X up tucked out the back just to keep them protected now your vehicle is exposed, your miles within 12. You're going to get two shots each for the guys. So that's eight shots. And then the Exarch's got four, and he needs twos to hit. There's a couple of ones, typical. But there's your two hits, and then threes for these. So it's awful result there, not very good at all. But that's the kind of units that you want, that if they perform bad, they still do their job. And you actually, out of that poor round of shooting you've still got six hits at strength six rear on ten and perform much better there with the penetration rolls that is actually four penetration so it's dead and then on sixes right triple six well there you go so that's blown sky high and then the contents of what come out of there if infantry come out you've got a unit that has a free up save and a little bit of close combat capabilities so they're not entirely helpful now I've had times when uh, vehicles perhaps have survived or a second vehicle's turned up and he's turned around and he's fired at me. I can survive a lot of these hits here. That's AP4, AP6, the armor's good enough. Let's just say that he, he's going to have a full shot at me. So you've got the scatter laser coming in, gets a hit and a wound, and then he's got a heavy bolter coming in at me. He's got two hits and a wound, and I've got to make my saves. Really, I would have him at the back position wise, two saves, awful, so it's bad, I fouled two, not good, but we'll leave it at that just to show you that even in the worst circumstances you can still do okay, it's presuming that I pass morale, which I do there, tactic here is what I usually do and it winds an opponent up is just to, on my turn just to simply jump over him again because you jump him from tree, jump over and then behind him, then you've got him again, and this is how you can aggravate an opponent with your hits, there's four hits from the Exarch, you see how many shots you can get out when you keep him alive and then the two supporting guys, there's three hits there as well, so you've still knocked up seven strength six hits, you busted through the armour there twice and the six, kaboom, another, exp another uh, busted vehicle. So that's how effective they can be. The opponent has to deal with them, or they're just going to hop around, blowing up vehicles all over the place. Uh, you can use them to harass uh, larger targets at strength six. You can go after them, monstrous creatures. And then the great thing about warp spiders is once you're in there, you've, you've done your damage, you can then get out of there again. Nine inches, end up going, you can jump into the cover that you've created, perhaps if you want to risk that, or just, just get away, but nine inches will take you out of trouble. And that's handy if you're uh, trying to harass a unit but you don't want to be contacted by them, then you can fire, come in 12, fire at them 2d6 and then disappear behind cover again 
a unit where you can fire and then not receive any hits back on yourself if you're able to get them out of trouble. So a flexible unit, not too expensive, good harassment value, and, you know, worth keeping them alive. Don't throw them away, it's worth carefully thinking about where you're going to put them and then using them wisely, but one of my top rated units in my Eldar army at the moment. Thanks for watching this uh, Eldar Tactica. Be sure to check out my channel. Loads of videos on there for you to look through. Uh, you've got painting tutorials, step by step, uh, HD, uh, showcase videos, there's battle reports, and a whole load of other stuff. So thanks for watching, and tune in next time.